kind of a flop, I guess. I was talking with one of you last night from Scotland originally, a lot of the bar. Where is she? Brought back, there she is. I was thinking about that last night. It, it brought back a, an old brogue joke that I recall. Put a popper course spin on the afternoon. I feel a bit like that today. There was a Scotsman who came to New York City. He was a classic Scotsman wearing the classic Scottish outfit, complete with a kilt. He went to a pub and he tossed the pot a few times, greased his elbow, as they say, staggered out of a Greenwich Village bar, and dropped dead drunk, passed out in the gutter of Manhattan. Later that evening, two teenage girls came by. They saw him lying in the gutter, and one turned to the other and says, look there, there's one of those Scotsmen. He says, yes, he's wearing one of those funny dresses. He says, yes, one of those skirts. What do they wear beneath them? She says, I don't know. He says, well, I've heard the strangest things. She says, why don't we be naughty and have a look and find out? So they crept over, took the edge of his kilt, lifted it up, and went, oh, they don't wear anything at all. He says, they're real proper, Scott. One of them was wearing a blue ribbon in her hair. She says, let's really be naughty. <laughs> she took the ribbon out of her hair. She tied it in a place too delicate to mention. They wandered on down the street. The sun came up the next morning. The old Scot snorted and looked up at the sun, feeling the constriction around himself. He said, mm. lifted the edge of his kilt up, pulled it back, said, oh, Oscar. I don't know where it is you have been, or what it is you have been up to. What well, this damn proud I am, you took the grand prize. <laughs> Would that pass? <laughs> I go back to the 11th century, you know. East Lothian.